Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do high pass, which is going to sharpen your whole picture. We're going to do this on the environmental portraits because we want to make sure the background is nice and clear. And this um, is going to just allow our details to pop out in the photo. Now when we do this, we're going to be working with filters. Filters are a destructive edit, and in order to prevent this from being destructive on our pixels, we're going to duplicate the background layer. So I'm just going to right click on it, do duplicate layer. I'm going to name it High Pass. I'm going to say OK. That way if we do a change on here that we don't like, we can always delete it and redo it. Now from here, I'm going to make sure that I'm clicked on the High Pass layer. I'm going to go up to Filter, move down to Other, and click on High Pass. And what this does is it makes your whole layer basically gray and it picks out the different parts of your picture to make them either a little bit darker or a little bit lighter on the edges of the details. Um, and adding a little more contrast this way is what makes our picture look sharper. I'm going to make sure that I stay within the 2 to 5 range as far as the radius of your pixels. If you go up way too high like this, it looks uh, it makes it look really fuzzy and it doesn't look realistic, so that's why you'll want to keep it down lower. I'm going to keep it at about 3, and I'm going to say OK. Now it keeps that layer gray, but I want to blend those grays down. So I'm going to click on my blending mode that is now normal. I'm going to move it to overlay, and that just blends this layer, the high pass layer, down into my background layer. And when I zoom in, I can see that this is with the high pass on, so this is with the sharpen. When I take the eye off, you can see it's not quite as sharp. So I'm going to put it back on. We get a nice, crisp, clear detail in our photo. Now you're going to save this as a Photoshop document. So go to File, Save As, name it High Pass so that I know what you did. And then you'll say Save and hand it into the Dropbox.